When you connect a new drive into a Windows 11 computer, you need to be able to use it by initializing it and setting up a drive letter. Unfortunately, in system storage, you just don't get those options. So what you want to do is you want to open up computer management. So we can go to the search box, type in computer management, and go ahead and open it. You can open it or run it as administrator. In this particular case, it actually does the same thing. There's other applications where it does make a difference. This is not one of them. If we go over to disk management, you can see I've added in three drives. There's three five gigabyte drives. I know that sounds kind of small, but what I did was uh, I did this through a virtual machine. But it would look the same if you added in a USB drive or plugged in a physical drive anywhere else. We can see the drives are all online, and that's because I right-clicked on them and I chose to uh, format them. And now we need to have volumes to fill those up. So let's create a simple volume. I'll right-click on this particular drive, choose New Simple Volume. Click Next, and here you can choose whether you want to have all of the storage or less. So if, for instance, I only typed in 2,500, then I would have only about half the drive full. If I just leave it as the default, then I can go ahead and use the whole thing. So I'll click Next. Here's where we can assign the drive letter or not. You can also mount it in the following empty NTFS folder. So the reason you want to do that is if you're running out of space, say on your C drive, you can mount this as additional storage inside your C drive. So that's kind of nice. And then your other option is to do not assign a drive letter or drive path. And that's usually if you're planning on using the, the drive for something else in the future. Click Next. Now we want to know how we want to format the volume. So by default, we have NTFS. FAT32 would be only if you're trying to communicate with, say, a Linux computer or Macintosh computer. Then they all speak the same language on FAT32. But in this particular case, there's really no reason to do that. And of course, you'll want to choose the quick format. Otherwise, it'll take forever to format it. And if you want to add the file and folder compression, what that does is it, it, it'll double the amount of space however it will run much more slowly so you can compress data if you want or just click next and finish so now my drive is formatting there it is my e drive if I go into file explorer I should be able to see that drive and there it is there's my e drive there's nothing in it I can certainly right click on it and choose to create a new file or folder and start using the drive so that is how we create a new simple volume in Windows 11.